I don't know if they were just a lot of old stock that never really saw a lot of parade time or use or what have you, but uh, it's not uncommon to find these late ones in really good shape as far as the grip is concerned. Okay. Blade. Blades are really identical in construction. Uh, this is a later Icorn logo, which makes perfect sense. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get it focused again. And it also is uh, double proof, so it's got RZM uh, mark and a Icorn logo on it. Usually, you're just going to find an RZM maker code on here with no maker mark on there. Okay, so again, these this particular dagger is a little bit more desirable because it has the double maker or a double proof mark on it. All right. Moving on to the scabbard on these late ones. Again, you're going to have chrome fittings just like the scabbard or just like the cross guards. Okay. Same problem exists though. You've got steel that's chromed. Um, the steel starts to oxidize and then you have lifting of, there you go, here's a, here's a good spot where it's lifting pretty good. Okay, the chrome starts to pop. All right. Very common with these late ones. So again, these daggers are very desirable if you can find them with the chrome that's really good. These late ones will always be painted over steel. The paint color can vary, but you will find a lot of uh, post-war painted or repainted scabbards, so you have to kind of pay attention to what you're, you're looking at. If you see the fittings um, look like they're pried up a little bit, that's usually an indication that the fitting was removed because these are really tough to get off. Okay, so a lot of times people will use a small screwdriver or something to wedge in there to push these up and off once they take off these screws here. So if you see that kind of um, looks like someone was tinkering with the, the lips on these and they don't they look less than perfect. Outside of a ding here, that would be fine, but if you find any lifting here where it looks like someone got a screwdriver underneath here, uh, that would be an indication that uh, the fittings were removed, possibly to repaint the scabbard. Okay, and here's our standard belt clip. Nothing too different there. Okay, but again, nickel. You'll find that the, even the um, the belt clips would be chrome plated versus uh, solid nickel fittings on the earlier ones. Okay. So that is about it, guys. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about SA daggers and early construction versus late construction.